meaning tall, hairy man of the forest. The locals just simply call it the skunk man. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? My name's Levi, and I'm back with another redstone tutorial, and this I've actually done before, but there was no voice tutorial, so I'm gonna redo it. And before I get started, yesterday I changed my Minecraft skin, and I changed it to a skunk ape, because of skunk ape gaming and everything. And I logged on today, and then it's not there, it's some other skin that I didn't download and I don't really know what happened because I'm on my account and everything and I'm kinda confused but uh... anyways uh... let's get into the tutorial so here you have your enchantment table and uh... you can see the bookshelves now but when you build it you'd build like you'd have oak wood floor and everything so it'd be hidden and there's a pressure plate connected to a T flip flop and then there's pistons, repeaters, all around so that way when you step on the pressure plate it all comes down and level 30 enchant. And you step on it again and then it all goes up. And this is my tutorial world but since I've already done the tutorial in this world I'm gonna have to create a new world and then do it there. So I'll get back with you when I'm done doing that. Alright, so we're back in my newly generated world, and uh, this is basically what you're going to need. You're going to need uh, some oak wood planks, your bookshelves, and a enchantment table, obviously. Um, some sticky pistons, redstone, redstone repeaters, torches, uh, regular pistons, and a pressure plate. You're also going to need a redstone conductive block, like stone or quartz block, or something like that. But... Yeah, we'll get that. We'll get to that in a second. So first of all, just put down your enchantment table, and then you can get rid of that, and then get your conductive block. I'm just gonna get stone. So you have this, and you want to dig out around it where your uh, bookshelves are gonna be. So and do this. It's going to be in like an H shape almost, but it's only going to be like that on the bottom. So, we're going to dig down one more. So that way, oh, hold on, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, So you're going to have your pistons down there. Facing upward, obviously. And you can go ahead and put your bookshelves. And in order for this all to be like hidden, you're gonna be in like uh, a room with oak wood roof and oak wood floor. Uh, and it has to be like two blocks high. So just dig out around here for your repeaters and redstone. I'll be going to your pistons. I'll just speed this up real quick. Alright. So you can go ahead and put your repeaters down right here. And I'm gonna speed this up again, just wiring the redstone around. Alright, so you have this, and uh, okay, guys, sorry about that. I uh, I did just look at something real quick. So, alright, so I'm gonna have, go ahead and put down your pressure plate. So I'm just gonna put mine right here, and then uh, I'm gonna connect to. We're gonna connect the redstone wiring to a T flip flop. Sorry, I just woke up. I can't really talk right now. Um, so I'm gonna do this above ground 
so it's a lot easier to see and everything. So if you don't know how to build a T flip flop, then uh, just pay attention. It's not that hard, or the kind that I'm making right here. So uh, yeah, so let's put a torch down. Conductive blocks. from here you can just connect this to uh, all your redstone I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here underground um let's see where I want to connect this up to you can go ahead and do it right here I guess Alright, there we go. I'm gonna have to put some repeaters in here, but we'll do that in a second. So let's put a repeater like right here. Repeater. Huh. Let's put a repeater right here. Repeater here. And alright, so that's the bottom bookshelves. And then, um,. This is a simple T flip flop that uh it's pretty simple to make and everything. So uh yeah. So when you step on your pressure plate, it goes down, step on it again, goes up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover all this up real quick and then uh we'll get to the top bookshelves. Alright, so uh for the top uh bookshelves and pistons and stuff, you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh like get some block oh, I didn't even cover that up right there get some block and uh, go ahead and go up like this because you want your pistons right here I believe yeah yeah okay so you want your pistons up there so find a way to get your piston up there and then you can just go around and then place your pistons around to the same places here except for the back two right here like you don't need those on top so yeah so just go around and place your pistons facing downward hmm. leave that on all right so uh you can go and put your bookshelves if you want and uh and then what you want to do is just come up here and you just fill this in with your planks and uh... we're going to take the redstone from the back here like let's take it from right here so what we need to do is just do this you can do this I'm not sure if this has to be a redstone conductive block, but I'm going to do it with one just to be safe. But uh, I don't think you do, but whatever. So I just do this with the planks just to match everything, but whatever. So just do that, so that way you can have your repeaters. I'm lagging a little bit right now. But you can have your repeaters like this, just like the bottom. Connect it all up. And then, uh, you're gonna have to have some repeaters. I think one right there. And let's just put one right there. And then you're gonna have, like, some stairs to go up to this wiring. Like so. Let's do something like that. See the power's starting to die out. Huh. There we go. Alright, so we should be good down here. And, uh, it's basically how you make it. But what I like to do, is because that looks a little bit choppy, what I like to do is set delays to where it all comes in. I want to say simultaneously is a word, but, uh, I'm not sure. So just set the delays like so. So it starts at no tick, one tick, two tick, three tick, four tick, and so on. 
And uh, back here I just do uh, four ticks. And then I'm just going to do this with the rest of the bottom and the top and speed it up. And I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so we have our delays set, and uh, if you want to look at it now, it looks a lot better. And uh, yeah, so that's basically how you make it. And of course, when you make it, you're probably going to want to hide all this, which isn't really a problem. You just run the wiring down lower and dig out, make your teeth flip-flop, and then have everything underground. And then, uh, this will be the roof of your house up here like this, and everything will be hidden, because you'll have planks that look the same as the bookshelves. So, like, if I was to just put this back up, and this was your roof here, you wouldn't even be able to tell that the bookshelves were there, because it all looks the same. And you do the same with your floor, so it's all hidden. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, so, i sure this tutorial is getting pretty long, so I'm going to go ahead and show you one more time and then wrap it up. Alright, there we go. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, subscribe for more tutorials, montages, and soon to be Call of Duty. And uh, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I just fell in a hole. <laughs>